Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Space Haven where we are trying to take as many prisoners as possible today. So that's gonna be super interesting guys. What are we doing? Uh, I would say we're gonna draft every single one of our people. Uh, yeah, you have forced work right now, but not anymore. No, it's, it's fine. Uh, we're gonna take every one of our people here and we're gonna try to overwhelm these enemies and these pirates like crazy. So that's the plan. Let's go. For that, we're gonna take our alpha squad here. Sorry, I know that you are in the process of having your lunch break there, but it's fine. We're gonna do it like this. I also need to drop this shuttle and dock it here. Except. And I'm gonna take Alex, Hillary, Catherine and Carrigan. You are boarding the other shuttle. Uh, is you is is you not docking here? Why is you not docking? Okay, Alex, Hillary, Catherine, Kerrigan. Oh, I cannot. Ah, wait. Ah, I can only. Hmm. Can I not enter this here? Thought I could. Okay, let's try again. Maybe here. No. I said, Doc, here, we are wasting precious time, my prisoners are dying. Wh what? The, the freaking frock frock. Doc, here, except... Hmm. No, it, it won't do it. It just won't do it. Okay, okay, okay. So I'm gonna drop this shuttle. And, and, Doc it here. This micromanagement is hilarious. It's just not good. You you don't wanna? You, you don't wanna enter? Carrigan, please! No! Okay, Carrigan, whatever. Uh, okay, so we got, we got two shuttles filled with people, more or less. I mean, it's also good to have one shuttle that is not filled completely, I guess? What about the other guys here? Is there another shuttle that I can draft? Where's my other shuttle? It's here. Okay, I, I draft it. I dock it here. Let's see what happens. And I want you guys... Whoop! To be drafted as well. And I want you to go here. I want all of the people. Yeah, there we go. Okay. You dock. Okay, this is gonna be it now. You dock here. Except. Stop it here, stop it here, stop it here. You dock here. Except. And you dock on the airlock. Except. Let's go, guys. Whoop, whoop, whoop. And this is where we're gonna definitely slow down. And we're gonna unload everybody at the same time. Oh, this is gonna be good. We have so many guns here. Cool. Attack. Oh, are they dead already? No, they are not. They are not dead already. Shoot! Shoot everything to pieces here! <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Did we get it? We didn't get it. Get closer, guys. Get closer. Alright, we got it! Okay, so what we need to do now is the following. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. My people are actually dying. I need them to give up now. Quickly. Okay. Uh, we're gonna decline and take everyone as prisoner. That's the first thing to do. This is gonna be long enough by. Good. Stop it here. Um, Hillary. Would you please go home? I need to undraft some of these shuttles so that my, my people can actually go home. The ones that are... The ones that are actually, um, you know, wounded. Hillary needs to go. Kerrigan needs to go. James is going, Tilk is going, Alex is going, Sarah is going. Okay. Okay, I think that's fine. What we do now is we need another shuttle. This one here. Can I draft and dock it? Like here? Is the shuttle coming? The shuttle is coming! Alright. You go home. Victor is basically dead. So we don't bother with him. I want you... ...follow. And I want you to follow. Okay. Did it work?
Yeah. Okay, so Suki can go here and bring the prisoner. That's great. Uh, James has somebody who follows him as well. Okay, 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 okay. We got two prisoners in here. I'm gonna take James out and bring... Yeah, and Suki as well. And then we have another shuttle. Uh, actually, you know what? Madeline Clara can take the others. Yeah, that's how we do it. You go in here. You fly home. And bring... I, I really hope that they bring the people... Actually, you know what? I'm gonna bring them manually to the Corona. Because that's my prisoner ship. So, and where is Madeline Clara now? Oh my god. Can we actually bring enough people? And I hope that Hillary just survives, guys. Ooh, there's more. Oh my god, they have so many. Uh, alright. You, follow. 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 I got. I should have three people with me now. Uh, and we're gonna let Alicia die, I think. I think that's it. Uh, that's just enough, guys. Look at... Oh, wow! So many prisoners! That is so good! Uh, we need to kind of dock here. Get out of here. Okay. Can I... Is, is that it, guys? Is that how I do it now? I have undrafted the people. Somebody got unconscious. It was just James because of exhaustion. Okay. The other shuttle is coming, right? Oh, it is. Oh my god. Um, that's the next shuttle. I'm gonna undraft this one. Draft. Dock here. Okay, the prisoners are now kind of moving. Oh my god, I think we got it. Okay. Get all of you out of here. Nicole can actually be undrafted. And I think all of the others are fine as well. Yeah! Oh my god! Look at all these prisoners! That's how you... That's how you get some more crew. All right, I'm super happy. I think that's it, guys. That that was absolutely great. Uh, we still have that unexplored, but that's okay. I think we didn't lose anybody, did we? I mean, even if so, we can recru recruit from these guys. <coughs> okay, I need to check out what happened here. We have Esme here. Esme has an open wound still. Okay, Trillion, how are you? Ooh, not that great either. Uh, Nicholas is healed. James is dying, but I hope he's getting treated soon. And I have these beds. Give me the beds. I have these set up as super high priority. I did not set them up as super high priority. That's the thing I should do on everything before we continue here. We still have some beds left over that are not uh, filled with anybody yet. So, uh-huh. Uh-huh. Give me a second. That's like super high priority. Keeping people alive is imperative, really. Cool. Yeah, Dr. Kerrigan is coming in, doing some weird, weird experiments on our people. Hillary. What about Hillary? She, ha she has some health problems. O okay. Fine. <laughs> Accepted. And you guys are fine, right? Yeah, you're just lonely. Why are you lonely? You have enough people here. Cool! Hey, that was a great thing to do here! <laughs> Now, I'm just hoping that people will, you know, come back to their to their feet and, you know, they're fine and so on and so on and so on. Ham, however, I want somebody. Give me somebody, like Jordi. Jordi, I want you to fully explore the ship because we have some other things to do as well while we are treating to the wounds of the people. Um, we also want to get the stuff from the pirate ship, right? So Jordi has to quickly explore that thing. There we go. That was it. And now we can actually start salvaging. That's pretty good. That's a lot of shotguns. Alright. These shotguns are worth a lot. That's why I'm so happy. I mean, we can just trade them away. Wow, and the, there's no scrap on the thing anymore. We destroyed basically everything. So how many did we get? It's like five prisoners? That is solid. That is super solid, guys. Yeah, you just need enough people, I would say. 
Just throw in as many people as you can with guns and you just win the fight. It's just a matter of overwhelming enemies. Um, anyway... What about Nicole? Nicole has a problem. Nicole is tired. Yeah. Nicole was just tired. Sorry. You're fatigued. Where are you going? Would you please stay within your boundaries? Wait a second. This is the prisoner's area. Oh, they wanted to go here, of course. Yeah, that's that's not a that's not a prisoner's area. Not at all. That's not a thing. You are not allowed to go there. Okay. But yeah, cool. Cool, 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 cool. So we're gonna transfer everything and then we're gonna get the hell out of here and then Oh wait. Oh there's more. Um it was just, you know, being calculated, therefore it was not, uh, set to none everywhere. No, we're gonna take the scrap uh, of the energy and the tech type, and then we're gonna leave the system here. And we're gonna jump to the next one and see what we're gonna see there. Hammerhead always needs fuel. Why is that? It's not like, like it's critical, it's just not there. Oh, also, we can, and we should probably, set the rule for the ship to... Uh, like... Yeah... <laughs> I'm gonna just stop the rule. I don't want to be. Uh, I don't want to have all of the energy blocks and all of the other blocks on the ship that is almost done. I put it there before because you know I was like, this ship is in the making. The ship is in process of building, so let's bring every resource that we need for building things here. But I, I don't need it anymore. Not needed. Okay. Now we need to establish a link. We're gonna cut here. Build that here. And that's it, right? Yeah, that's how we do it. Okay, on the other side as well. So we're gonna cut here, build here. Connect here, connect here. And that is... How our ship is gonna function now. I wanna see... If that's possible. We have a pretty sizable power output. What if I stop the generator? The ship is running. The ship is running, guys. I mean, I gotta say, we have... Where can I see that? Oh, there. No, wait. The solar output in the sector is 97%, so the sun is really bright. So that's good. I wonder how it looks like when we have... Even if we have half of that, we will be at 20 per second. And uh, we are currently using up 14. That's good. That's good. I'm sorry. Excuse me, guys. I needed to sneeze. And... Yeah, you know what? After we are done with the ship... We're gonna go. And we're gonna try to go where no one has gone before. So all of our prisoners, all of the five of them, are now being treated. And we can just start recruiting them. Don't rebel, please. Don't you dare rebel. Oh, by the way, um, one of you gave me... Huh? One of you gave me the information... That um, one of in one of the last episodes we got a uh, problem because we got boarded by pirates. It was because I brought the unconscious pirates to my ship because I thought their whole faction, the whole the hell, the whole crew was giving up. But the individual ones that I brought over that were unconscious, they got conscious again and they started shooting in my ship. They just hit Tiak. I think they did. So much for the rebel. Uh, okay. <laughs> All right. But that's what happens when they rebel. Interesting. Don't you dare hitting my people. We're treating you well, okay? It could also be a good idea to not recruit them directly, but leave them there for a moment until they have been comfortable, like you know, become comfortable in the area, and then after a day or two, start recruiting them. It's Catherine. Catherine is cleaning up the mess. Oh, it has tear like blood everywhere. <laughs> At the very least, she's doing that. Also, why are we not cleaning up the mess on the hammerhead? There's a lot of mess here. Wait a sec. There's something like settings. Auto maintenance. I think that's what we need here. 
Okay. I can set forced work for a certain amount of hours. Ooh, that's cool. So if I have a lack of uh, of resources and I'm working in shifts, I can just say, hey, overtime, five more hours for everyone. That's good to know. That's really good to know. Also, what about what about water and water vapor? Ah, uh, you can see now we have completely cleared out the water vapor on the ship. Mm -hmm. Which brings me to the next point. We have, I think, two of these water collectors currently. But I, why? Where are you? Stop that one to just save energy. How are you outside of your prison? What happens here all the time? That's not cool, guys. That's not cool at all. Mm. Come on, guys. Quicker work. Uh, also, that's prisoner instructions. Yeah, we have prisoners, but we didn't recruit anyone yet. I wanted to see if we already got somebody. No, 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 that's fine. So, another thing that I want to do is I want to reposition this stuff here over here so that the people have a quicker way to their bridge in case they need to wake up and, you know, just man the battle stations directly. So, we're gonna start moving the kitchen around here. Uh, the sofa. Mm, do we need the sofa here? So, we could kind of... No, I cannot put it there. Ah, oh, that's a shame. I'm really thinking about building something like that, so that it's kind of separate, separated from, like, a sleeping area. Like that, you know? And then building the beds on the other side, behind it. Yeah, I like it. Let's do it. So here goes that. Got that. And there are two beds here. They should be accessible. And then there is one bed here. Ah, it doesn't look great, I gotta say. Not really. We can make bunk beds happen. And if only we had like one more slot here, one more space. Can I achieve it somehow? I don't know. Mm, the jukebox definitely goes... I cannot put it there. That's a big shame here. Uh, anyway, let's put the jukebox down here then. And we need light in the room as well. That goes here. And it also goes here, right next to the door. And you know what? If we just build bunk beds there, I think we are fine. Maybe. Hmm. These beds are a bit more comfortable. That's the thing. I mean, obviously, if I put if I put the sofa in a position like wait a sec, like on the wall, then I had more room in the center. But I don't want more room in the center. I want the sofa to be exactly here where it is. This could be interesting. That would enable me to get more room there. I like it. Stop it here. Stop it here. In the middle of the room. Okay. Yeah, let's build it like this. Okay, let the people sleep. This is done. Is it? It is not done. Oh my god. It is not done. And we got a new prisoner recruited. Nicholas! Welcome, Nicholas. Alright. That was... We have Nicola Nicholas now. Nicholas, what are you? You are a fast learner. I see. You're good with industry. I like it. You are living on the corona now. The first thing... I'm gonna put a weapon in your hands, because I trust you as a new recruit. <laughs> Get some assault rifles here as well. Okay, Nicholas. Also, Nicholas needs a schedule. We have... Wait a second. Uh, one, two, three, four, five people working in the late shift, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven in the early shift. Mm, okay. Give me that. Put Nicholas there on the late shift. And we're gonna put the proper early shift up here. Cool! I like it! Another prisoner in the house. Very good.
So in the meantime, everything is being repositioned. Uh, we kind of lost the chair now for I don't know what reason. That's okay. And you know what I mean? I can now put some beds here. Okay. A nice table so that the people can sit. Nobody should say that I don't care about my people. Ah, here's the thing. If I put a chair here as well, then... Ah, this looks so bad. <laughs> Damn, I cannot do it. I just can't. Unless I put that thing down here. And even there, it doesn't fit. Okay, dismantle that. We're gonna just build... We're gonna just build something else. As much as I wanted a couch here, I'm just gonna build some chairs. Yeah, here, here. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. You go here. You go here. You go here. And then we're gonna build a fourth bed up here, and then we we are happy. We are happy with what it looks like now. It's a nice kitchen. It's the best kitchen. It's an appropriate kitchen, I would say. And we are probably working in shifts anyway, so we will never use more than, let's say, three chairs at the same time. I think that's okay. We're gonna maybe build a couch somewhere else, so that the people can relax a bit. So this is now freed up. We can use that for basically anything. And um, I need to think about what I want to do and where I want to put it, but uh, for the moment, I want to concentrate more on getting out of the sector. And we finally can. We have nothing to scrap anymore, we have nothing to salvage anymore. So this is the moment where we just go. Oh, that's so cool. We get more people online. Uh, please force the work here. I want to get out of this now. Come on, Ophelia. Do it. And I think with the amount of people that we have there on the Corona now... What is going on here? Craft's left behind. Something is wrong. Uh, why? Because that thing is drafted. Oh no, I accidentally drafted it. <laughs> I mean, I drafted it on purpose, but then I forgot about it. That's what happened here. And... And... No. Yes. No, here we go. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So... We have followed the pirates back into space, but what we need to do now is we need to go down here, because that's the next sector to get into the center of the galaxy. Cool. Zip. Everybody's in hypersleep, except for Nicholas on the hammerhead. That's okay. You know what? I don't want to bother with it right now. So if he's getting space fatigue, then he's gonna get space fatigue. It's not that he would die or anything, it's just he's feeling uncomfortable not being in hypersleep at all. Uh, I wanna jump directly again. Why is Nicholas on the hammerhead anyway? I don't know. Shouldn't be there. Okay. So, where do we go? Oh, perfect. We're gonna go here, we're gonna mine, we're gonna let the people settle a bit after the hypersleep. Everything is gonna be fine. We're gonna... Um, not force the people to work on the navigations console anymore, and then we have some stuff to do here. A lot of stuff to do here. Okay, deploy. So first things first, let's get out of there. And then... And then we're gonna take James, Madeline Clara, Nicole, Sarah. I will let them have their... wait, no, what? No, no, they are just available. I wanted to say I will let them have their morning coffee, but no, they are here. Let's take them and put them to good use on a pretty big ship. Oh, that's gonna be interesting. Did we find Cryo Boy or Cryo Girl today? Seems very stripped. There's nothing here on the back of the, of the ship. I mean, we have some aliens. Just small aliens so far, but a lot of them. Okay. Very well. 
I think we did it. Oh, I have the feeling that we will find somebody here. This seems to be like a real big ship. No? Come on. No. Nobody here. Man, my intuition was wrong. Okay. Anyway, we got a ship. Got some. Just some stuff. Yeah, you could see uh, most of the ship's parts were not there. There was nothing interesting on the ship that we could uh, strip down. No big generators, no big, I don't know, shield batteries or anything. Nothing. But okay. So we continue. Is the water vapor coming again? It does. So it slowly fills up. Hmm? And we are also generating water vapor here. Nothing here though. No. Okay. What about comfort? This is good. Mm, we need more light in the command center. Let's try to make the ship good. Let's try to make it comfortable. And then there's the question, is there any bottleneck that we need to fill here? Maybe food production is the thing. Or maybe it's not, because overall we are, I think, overproducing anyway still. Yeah. Liberty, the next prisoner. All right, Liberty. Where are you? Hello. All right. We are getting more hands that help us work. That's so good. Where is Liberty? There she is. Uh, she's currently sleeping, but you know what? I'm gonna give her a gun right now. She's good with mining oh, and construction. It's really good to see. I'm gonna draft her and I wanna put her here. You can sleep when you're dead. <clears throat> okay, fine. I'm draft. Do whatever you like. Great! Oh, also, schedule. It's okay. It's pretty good. I'm super excited, guys. So, I was uh, talking about... I was talking about food production. I think it couldn't hurt if we give them, like, one grow bed or maybe two. Two would fit perfectly here. Absolutely perfectly. Give him one. I want to do an experiment here. Um... Yeah, the problem is gonna be energy. But not really. No, it's fine. We're gonna reposition that. And then we're gonna build a second grow bed. Oh. Um, about that. Oopsie. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, we can make sure, actually make it super efficient here. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Um, I wanna move that over here. Yeah, and then I will probably destroy that wall. So, let's link again. Uh-oh. Oh, that's not good. That is not good. Oh, we lost half of our power. Um, hmm. Well, let's add a power node. Right here. Exactly. So we can actually link that thing again. That power node completely, completely um, covering everything. Yeah, it will. It will. Still, the power is enough just from the solar panels. We have that backup generator there, but we don't need it. That's really cool. Link that here. Link that here. And we're good again. It's fine. We're gonna leave that thing there for the moment. It can just flicker like that. It's not a big problem. Our ship is... Actually, it's not heated well. Ooh. We need something like that in the command center. Okay. So, incoming ship next turn. That's fine. Liberty is already working. I love it. But again, what are we doing on this ship here? Are we done? We are almost done, which means we can then jump again and, you know, try to explore the next areas in this star system. Alright, temperature is basically good everywhere. I don't need good temperature in the back of the ship. That is okay. And we can start building things. So, double fruit. 
Double vegetables. Actually, I wanna... I wanna set the production to like 15. Okay, and this is gonna be meat. But only if we have also like 15. Okay. Good. Ship entered sector. Can we trade? What do you bring? You bring nothing of interest, really. Or maybe the Hyperium. What's our Hyperium status, guys? I don't want to run out of fuel at all. We're out of Hyperium. Alright. We found something to trade with. That's super expensive, though. But I think it's... It makes so much sense to get that now. Oh, and you want to trade space food? Hell yeah, let's trade space food. I will actually add another trade. And... Give me money. Just money. Hmm. Ten units only. Okay, but you will trade uh, fruit and vegetables as well. I just want to get my money back, that's the thing, you know? Okay. I will overpay a bit by five, but that's fine. This is a green ship that just operates on solar. It's cool. Really cool. Oh man, we could make the MC Hammerhead like the, the full agro uh, agriculture ship. That would be so cool. Like just being powered by solar panels and just, you know, having all the, the plants and everything. Ah, oh, that would be so cool. It would fit the topic, really. But I don't want to reposition everything right now. Oh, we are done here. Okay, cool. Let's go ahead and jump. I want to do it. I think it also would make sense to work in shifts on the other ships, I think, on the smaller ships. I need more people there. Working in shifts of two people, I think, is good. So that we always have somebody on that is a that is available for the navigation console. Alright. <sighs> Big sector. Wow, where do we go first? So the exit point is here. Swing around here, okay? Ah, there's a derelict. I'm gonna check that out. It's always a chance to find Cryo Girl and Cryo Boy. But honestly, I don't need much anymore. I think we are actually in a, in a very comfortable spot where we could just actually skip some of the resource points and just keep going and try to find just more people. And with these people... Uh, where are we? There we are. Uh, with the people... Wait, why are you on the other ship? And all of you. Um, okay, let me quickly draft that. <laughs> okay. Wait a sec. Nicole is pretty low on energy, I gotta say. Maybe it's not a good idea to go in with her. But uh, where was I with my train of thought? Oh yeah, I was saying that maybe we don't need all of the resources in the world and we are just trying to see what's in the center of the galaxy at this point. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. These are big eggs. Means we have big enemies here. Call is tired. Like, really tired. Oh, God. That was not a good idea. Okay, be quick with it, guys. Just be quick with it. And don't die. Cry a girl here? No, no cry a girl. Nicole, go home. Go sleep. It's fine. We don't need you here anymore. <laughs> yeah, that was super risky. I shouldn't have done that. But it worked out fine in the end. Cool, here we go. So, stripping that thing down so that we're just gonna maintain our balance of, uh, you know, enough scrap and enough energy and all of that. Overall, I'm pretty happy that we have enough energy rods again. That's super good. Which means, you know what? I'm gonna set my rules a bit differently. I'm gonna say 10, a minimum of 10 everywhere. Okay. Food. Minimum of 10. Water. Minimum of 10. Uh, let's make it like 15 here. And here as well. We need the water. It's super super relevant for, for planting and oxygen. Alright, everything else can stay there. Oh, here we go. Power failure. Oh yeah. Look at that. Solar output is super minimal. Let's start the generator again. Okay. I wonder if the generator is actually only working as a backup when we 
don't have enough power from the solar panels? Question mark. I don't know. I think you can also set up your um, your stuff in a way that um, you can make it like one-sided. One-way link. Yeah, only one direction. That's in that's super interesting. So you can actually make a like a this generator could just only fuel the back of the ship, whereas the solar panels only fuel the front of the ship. Or I could just interrupt these these nodes. You can, I think you can be really creative with your energy grid and really optimize that. But I don't want to do it right now <laughs> because it's so much micromanagement and so much thinking about what you want to do. I'm so more curious about what is in the center of this. And that's the stripping. All right. So we're going to keep going. I have to say it's really nice that it's rather peaceful right now. And that's the thing I don't like. We are waiting for a navigator all the time, you know. And the hammerhead is overweight, I just realized. Aha! Uh -huh. We need more engines on the hammerhead. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna extend the hammerhead's engine. Oh, are you kidding me? You were just about to get ready and then you lost your... Ugh. All right, so here's the thing that we're gonna do now. We're gonna force the people to work because I want to get into the next sector. I just want to do it now. And I usually try to not use that, you know, not use the navigation things. And I know you can just um, make it so that you have enough people with a good navigation skill in shifts so that every, uh, like at any point, somebody is available. Always forget to draft, undraft these. Okay. Can we do it now? Please? Dudes, we are wasting resources. There we go. So, do we need ice? I don't know. Let me take a look at my fleet's water consumption. Uh, we have enough ice, so we don't actually have to go there. I'd rather go here because there's, again, another derelict. Mm, and there's Hyperion, so that was the good move here. Okay. We're gonna get that, and then we're gonna upgrade our hammerhead a bit. I think the back of the ship still has enough potential to grow, to have enough room. Be creative. Okay, so, first things first. Give me that carbon. Secondly, I want, I want, I want, I want to upgrade my hammerhead. So, let's do it. We need a something by four. So, basically... That. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Exactly. So we're gonna expand this area. And then we can add two more of these turbines. Two more of these hyperdrives. Cool. Next thing. Uh, attack squad. I want you. It's the red shirts. Oh, Sarah is... No, Sarah is working. Sure. James. Madeline. Nicole. Tialk. Madeline? Drop that. Okay. Dock here. Man, this micromanagement is sometimes super weird. Uh, dock here. Thank you. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna go in with three people. I hope it's enough. Because I don't want to bother with the others right now. And I don't want any... Uh, anyone that is able to panic out. So I'm just gonna take the red shirts, which are kind of trained in battle. That is Cryo Girl! Hey, we found Cryo Girl! Or oh, Cryo Boy. Oh my god. No, that could be a bit bad here. You know what we're gonna do? I, want, I wanted to say we're gonna take Cryo Boy and give him a, a weapon in his hand, but... Oh, that's risky what I'm doing right now. Good shots, guys. Good shots. Keep, keep doing that and we win. Cool thing is, now that we have only three people with us, we can take Cryo Girl with us directly because we have an open spot on the ship. That's so good. As if I planned that. Okay. Okay. Okay, we got it. Perfect.
Welcome, cryo girl or cryo boy. Who's that? Ashley. Ashley is not Ashley. Ashley is definitely cryo girl. Definitely. Also, shirt pants. Oh, I can only make her like red. Oh, I don't have the full color palette here. I wonder why. Anyway, we have Cryo Girl. What is Cryo Girl uh, able to do? She was a fast learner. She is a pretty good gunner, pretty good med, a pretty good construction uh, operation. She's like min maxing. She has zero weapons, zero shielding technology, zero industry, but she is really good with some other things. So she, she's good. Okay, Cryo Girl, welcome aboard. I wanna give you a schedule. Wait, she's at C, right? It's not. Where's Cryo Girl? I don't see her. There she is. Okay, cool. Nice! We got somebody new. And that's actually pretty good stuff that we get from here. Yeah, let's do that. So, where's Cryo Girl? Oh, she's actually helping stripping down the ship that she was on. Oh, wow. I wanted to give her a weapon in her hands, therefore I was trying to get her right now. Oh, man, the crew is getting bigger again. That is so good. It feels, it feels really good, guys. Just to be able to do multiple things at the same time is so good. I mean, now we have to think about our food production again. We have to keep a keen eye on that. Speaking of, we have insufficient blocks. Oh yeah, another thing that I wanted to try here. Um, food, a CO2 producer. The CO2 producer... ...wants to live here, actually. But it can't. Ah, okay, I see. I'll build that thing here. And we have another prisoner recruited. Oh my god! That is so amazing, guys. Uh, where's resource? There's resource. I want a water collector on the ship. Do we have a water collector on the ship already? We do not. This could go here. And we're gonna put the walls, like, one step closer. And... What else do I need? I need like CO2 and water. The thing is, I wanted to see what I can do when I seal off the doors. Because the CO2 should rise and the oxygen should get lower. I just hope that my people don't die then when they go in here. Huh. Oh, uh, well, let's see. Since, since the vents are open all the time here, the CO2 producer is working against the gas scrubber. Although I'm not sure if the gas scrubber is, is scrubbing carbon. Is my scrubber? I do have a scrubber somewhere. There it is. Uh, remove CO2, smoke, and toxic gases from the air and produces carbon. Yeah, exactly. Uh, but anyway, we have some new people. Let, let's give them a job. Where are you? It was Alfred? Hey, Alfred. Um. No. I will also give it a late shift. Two, four, five on the late, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Perfect. So, I need Alfred. Alfred, what are you good with? Construction, gunnery, weapons. Antisocial, immune to lonely, and you have a very low surrender chance. Hmm, <laughs> okay. Uh, but your gunnery accuracy is, is really bad. Hmm. So, I guess what I'm gonna do, Alfred, where are you? I'm gonna draft you. I will give you a shotgun because, you know, you just need to point and click then. There we go. And then we had Cryo Girl. She's pretty good with shooting. I should actually think about Cryo Girl being like a, like a full red shirt. Which she is, technically. She has all the red pants. Can I draft her? Cryo Girl, where are you? Are you just on a ship? Okay, whatever. Just work. So good, guys. And we are done with the ship. We 
We've also expanded this area. Let's not forget about uh, forget about the hyperdrive that we wanted to build. It's good. It gets really good. The hammerhead is growing. We still have insufficient resources here, but we will fix that at some point. Cool. So, the core crew of the Corona should be 18 people. How many do we have? It's 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 2, 4, 5. So 15 people are here already. Sarah has shed her pants. It happens. Don't feel bad about it. it happens to the best of us. Um, I think I need a toilet somewhere else. They are quite centered right now. You know what? There it is. I'm not gonna build one toilet in the hangar, and I'm not gonna bother even with closing it off. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I have a toilet. And maybe we're gonna build another one here at some point. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe a toilet next to the uh, next to the bridge? Could be. Ooh, storage is full. Dudes! Why don't you bring fibers here? Oh, because I didn't set a rule yet. I see. Empty that. And I want you to bring... Where are they? Where are they? There we go. Energy cells. I need a minimum of like... Five energy cells in the region. Okay. That's what we do. This is just for energy cells. So that we can refuel our shields, refuel our guns, refuel our everything. Wow, look at these storages. They are really full. We have so much stuff. Okay. Okay. So I want to jump now. Because we are done with the ship. Ready, ready, ready. Any more drafted ships around? No, this one is just going and then we can jump. So, next big thing. I think I want to go up here again and that's Hyperium that I definitely need, guys. We're actually running low on fuel. Which brings me to the point that I should probably try to trade a bit more. Alright. Give me that. Give me that. Okay. Two more prisoners here. Yeah, I think with the... Four, six. Wait. Two, four, six. That's nine. Uh, we have 15. Okay, cool. 15. I want 18 people here. Since we have... Actually, we have enough beds. Well, maybe 20 is the nominal crew of the Corona. And then we can start putting the people over to the other ships. Oh, yeah. You are repositioning everything now. <laughs> All right. I mean, the storage area could easily be um, extended in this area. Like this here, this whole area that I'm showing right now could be storage. It's, everything is full, it's crazy, guys. Whereas this is, oh yeah, it's also getting filled. Okay. I could build, I, I was just realizing, I could build a... Uh, um, the industry hub in the back of the ship here, if I wanted to. Okay. And at any point, at some point, I also need more cryo chambers. So I think this is gonna be the cryo lane. Something like that. Having like six of them? I think six is enough here. Hopefully, I don't know. Oh yeah, and we can now build things. Also, another thing that I realized that some of you were saying is that in meat, if you plant meat, you only get one unit per, whereas you get two units per, per plant from vegetables and uh, fruit. So we have a production of eight on the ship of fruit and vegetables each, and this is just meat. We're gonna just produce so much meat here. Which I should also probably try to fix on the other ships as well. And we had a rule of, I think, 15 on that ship. We're gonna try to build 15 each. Cool. So these guys should be self-sufficient. Especially since they only have three uh, crew members on that ship. 
Okay, we're done with the mining, so we're gonna keep jumping. Let's go up here. We have been there already. Okay, they are noble materials, but I think... I think I don't need them. Again, this is a matter of, can we afford to skip some resources that I don't need anymore? And that's exactly what's happening now. So I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna go here. Then we're gonna see if there's something available here. Yeah, so getting the Energium is super good. We always worry about our energy consumption there. And we get another Derelict as well, so let's drop here. Good! Um, it's our good old attack squad. I wonder how many people of the original crew are still here. Seriously. I think we lost a bunch of them, I gotta say. But I, I saw James here. And Jean-Luc is also here still. Just destroy it, guys. Just destroy it. It's the easiest way to clear a clear way. <laughs> Just shooting everything. Here's the toilet, so in case you shit your pants, you can go there. Oh. Oh. I was wondering if we had aliens here. And now... Ah! It's a big one. Good reaction there, boys. Oh my god, that's so disgusting! Uh-huh. Is there a cryo chamber here? Come on, come on, come on. No, there's nothing. Okay. I think it also wouldn't make sense to have cryo chambers where... where aliens have infested the ship and laid eggs and so on, so they have completely taken over. I think then they would have probably cracked that chamber open to just feed on the people who were still alive here. Alright. Getting all of that. Perfect. We still have a million points of infra scrap, so I'm not gonna go for that. Hmm, alright, that's cool. So we have actually... We have actually built the... Um, the full chamber now. And as I was saying, I wanna test... Just test how this works now. If I... Close the vents. There we go. Okay, so the people can still enter, but this is now a complete, a complete ecosystem of its own. I mean, the plants should give us oxygen here, right? They are producing that. The oxygen is actually going high. Yeah. And the CO2 should also rise. 25. 24. It's actually going low. Hmm. The CO2 producer is idling, but why? Maybe we don't need that, like, high of a CO2 level? Maybe the 27 is just enough for the plants, because I, I don't know what's their perfect condition. Maybe we can find it out. Temperature is good between 0 and 40 degrees. Releases oxygen, requires CO2. Okay. Releases oxygen, requires CO2. So basically the same thing, same thing. Requires CO2. It doesn't release oxygen, but it is kept at 30 degrees. And you need a botany skill of 3. Do we have a botanist here on this ship? Wait a sec. Um, hammerhead. Ah, no, sorry. Uh, hammerhead here. Body? Nope. 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 We need a botanist here. Um, sure. Ivy is on the other ship, right? Ivy is good with botany, obviously. Botany, now. One, 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 two. None, none. Oh my god. I mean, James is good with that. Catherine, no. Oh, wow, we have nobody who's really good at botany. Maybe Madeline Clara, she's okay with it. I'm gonna send her over to the Hammerhead. Maybe she can help out. Okay, Madeline, where are you? Madeline! You live on the Hammerhead now, congratulations. What's your schedule? It's the same, okay, cool. 
Cool, cool, cool. But yeah, I want to see how this uh, unfolds here with the whole CO2 level in this botany area. Let's check it out. So, on top of that, we're gonna take the Energium, obviously. And as soon as the ship is stripped down, which is basically now, let's get some scrap here while we are waiting for the miners. Actually, no, let's not do that. I just want to wait for it, and now we can technically go home. But that is a story for the next video, guys. I hope you enjoyed this one, and we're gonna make some nice progress here. If you did, don't forget to leave a rating, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye.